come to the main fiddle camp old time variety show. We want you to know that it's time to go and join the main fiddle camp old time variety show. Break out that fiddle and bow. There will be music, laughter, bad jokes, and song. You can join in. It's for everyone. Come to the main fiddle camp old time variety show. Break out the fiddle and bow. to Maine Fiddle Camp Old Time Variety Show, Episode 4. I'm your host, Doug Protzik, and I'd like to introduce uh, my co-host for tonight, Glenn Loper. Hey, that's me. <laughs> so glad to be back. Show number four. Who would, who would have thought? Uh, we've got a great show lined up with a fantastic mix of staff and camper acts. I've been looking forward to it. But you know what I also look forward to, Doug, is our bad jokes. Do you have any? Well, one of the themes tonight is main humor and storytelling, and I've got a story for you right now. This actually happened. We were doing our Down East Fiddler's Jamboree in downtown Water Waldoboro at the Waldo Theater, and where we had for many years uh, hosted a, a variety of fiddlers, iconic fiddlers from Maine, like Tim Farrell and... Uh, J. Walter Snipe from Phippsburg, or uh, Ben Gilmet, And afterwards, we decided to celebrate and head to the famous Moody's Dinah, right on Route 1, where all the tourists have to stop at, a little bit like Red's Eats in Wiscasset, if you know what I mean. And uh, so we all sat down for a nice meal. We decided to go with uh, fried food. So one of us ordered fried clams, another ordered fried scallops, another ordered fried shrimp, another ordered fried oysters, another ordered fried haddock. And one of us, I'm not saying who, said, well, I'll try the tripe. And we all looked at each other, knowing that tripe was, of course, an iconic um, country main food, but most people don't quite go there with it, especially with all this seafood. And uh, so, but, you know, there's no counting for taste. So uh, we all... Uh, were served uh, wonderful meals, but halfway through the meal, this fellow that had ordered the tripe kind of pushes it back a bit, and he says, Whoa, that is the strangest tasting fish I've ever had. <laughs> oh, oh, man, tripe, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one, Doug. Uh, but, you know, we probably ought to get to the music. What do you think? Oh, definitely. What you got lined up? All right, let's do it. Uh, first off, we've got some great tunes for Maine Fiddle Camp guitar staff, Owen Marshall, who's joined by Emily Troll on the accordion, Jenna Moynihan on the fiddle, uh, and it's great. Uh, Owen's been working on his debut solo album this year, and this video is part of his successful Kickstarter campaign. Uh, hopefully we'll hear that album later this summer, but for now, take it away! Thank you. 
awesome music. I can't wait to hear the whole project. Uh, next up, a clip recorded live off from the main Fiddle Camp stage. We've got Kate McNally on fiddle and Neil Perlman on the piano. Neil's been here at the virtual camp the last few months teaching piano to the Boom Chickadees. So get your stomping shoes on for a great set of tunes, starting off in the key of F. <laughs> set. You can find more from Katie and Neil at their websites at katiemcnally.com and neilperlman.com. Uh, Katie also runs the Boston State's Fiddle Camp focused on Scottish and Cape Breton music and dance in Massachusetts. That happen happens in October. Uh, well, live music is a magical thing. You know what else is magical? Magic shows. <laughs> Our friends Hunter Groves DeMario and Lissa Schneckerberger have one ready for us right now. Take it away. Hey guys, it's Mysterious Magician here in my unicorn onesie because, you know, this is the magical key of life. I mean, 
can't do any of my stuff without it. You know, I just want to be as good. I'm going to make myself disappear and reappear somewhere else. This might be a little scary for you guys. Don't worry. I haven't actually left. We're going to make ourselves disappear. One, two, three. <laughs> I have a <coughs> little bit of a cold, but I'm going <coughs> to... cards now. Take a card and show it to the camera so she memorizes it. Yes, okay, I'm, I'm remembering it. Okay. Okay, she puts it back in. The magician does a simple shuffle. And I have no idea what card okay. you guys just picked out. But I'm gonna make some piles. And now which card was your pile in? Which pile was my card in? Yeah. This one. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Which pile? That pile. Which pile? That one. Now I'm just going to go. I'm going to split the deck. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to split the deck. Two halves of a deck. Mm -hmm. Which is just the amount. And I'm going to assume that it's either on this half or this half. This takes a little bit of thinking. I've guessed. It's on this half. Okay. Is this your card? Yeah! For this, I'm simply going to take my index finger and put it on the back of the card and it's just going to levitate. And three, two, one. Take my index and... What? <sighs> See this card? Mm-hmm. <gasps> what? Oh. Hey guys, today I'm gonna tell you a joke to light up your day. <laughs> tell me the joke. <laughs> Why do dads always bring a second pair of socks to the golf course? Uh, why? In case they get a hole in one. <laughs> also, why, what do mermaids clean their, uh, like, fins with? I don't know what. Tide! Ha! <laughs> Here is a normal, regular match. Okay. How did you do it? Oh. Amazing. <laughs> that last trick was really, truly unmatched. But that wasn't good. Well, 
I'm working on it. I'm taking notes on all these great acts, and uh, I now have a unicorn onesie on my shopping list, so watch out. Uh, next up, we've got an original song by R.F. Burks. Uh, this song is it's cool. It was part of his year-long project in 2021 to live stream an original song on Facebook every week. So this one was number 51, and it's called The Way I Am. He's joined by uh, MFC staff Kenny Raskin on mandolin and Ranger Paul Lookalike, uh, Paul Mator on bass. Hey guys, you're on. A two, a one, two, three, four.
great song, great playing, and great harmonies. Thanks, fellas. Uh, well, I'm a mandolin player, so it's always great to hear mandolin in the band, like Kenny was playing one. Uh, next up, we get two mandolins and a banjo and a great tune from some friends down in Tyaskin, Maryland, uh, the folk villains. So here's Guinevere, Isabel, and Elijah Cocky with a classic tune from the Civil War era. the folk bills are coming to you again from a front porch of our cabin in the swamp, except, except, we are not the front porch, we are at our lovely fireplace. Crackle, 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 crackle flames. Cute flames. Yeah. What flames? Yeah, we don't, we don't use it. it it's no. just decoration. The decoration. fire that burns within <laughs> us for our music. Oh! Uh. <laughs> we are so today we'll be playing, fireplaces. Today we'll be playing The Girl I Left Behind Me, which we learned from um, our new mandolin teacher, Mr. Glenn Loper, which we met via Virtual Main Fiddle Camp. He's awesome. You should definitely go check him out. I just started playing mandolin at the very beginning of January, and he started teaching me. And I finally felt kind of confident enough to maybe start playing, and we'll see how this goes. Here it is, The Girl I Left Behind Me. Let's go. summer. Well, folks, now it's time to celebrate Maine humor with some classic Maine humorists that we're going to see via the Wayback Machine. So, Doug, are we ready to hop on the Wayback Machine? Ah, uh, yes, I'm ready for the Wayback Machine, but first I got to put on the Wayback Machine goggles. Oh, yeah, now I can really see way back. So, I think we're ready. What do you say? Yes, let's take the Wayback Machine and go all the way back to 1975 and Kendall Morse. Hello, I'm Kendall Morse. About four or five years ago, the main public broadcasting network produced a television series called In the Kitchen. This series showcased the talents of some of Maine's favorite humorists, and I was fortunate enough to be chosen as its host. Coming to a close, leaves are gone, wood's in the shed, garden's all done. Time to take a rest and see if I can survive another main winter. By the time the snow gets halfway up over the windows, and I look out over the drifts and see that the only thing left alive is one damn fool bird on his way south, 
I begin to wonder if I'm going to make it. Sure, this is God's country, but he don't spend the winter here. Well, since I can't go south, I usually just sit around and hope a friend will drop by in the evening for a little story swapping. About the only thing you can say about these stories is that we seldom let the truth get in the way of a good laugh. Well, I'm not saying they're all lies, you understand. There's a lot of truth in them. But sometimes it's stretched tighter than a banjo string. Another fellow from Hartford, Connecticut came up here to Maine, you know, to go uh, deer hunting. And he got into this uh, hunting camp and there was a whole bunch of other hunters there and he was the newest man in the crowd and he'd never been in the woods before in his life. And it was dark and he was scared of Maine woods. But it was his turn to go get a bucket of water. Well, he didn't want to go, but he took that bucket anyway, and he went down to the pond to get a bucket of water for the camp. A few minutes later, back he come, and he took the door right off the hinges when he came in through, and he was scared to death. His eyes was walled right out like two doorknobs, and he'd lost the pail. And the guide says, what's the matter with you? Well, he says, when he got his breath back, he says, there's a bear in that pond. Well, the guide says, Hell, that bear is as least as much afraid of you as you are of him. The tenderfoot, he said, well, if that's the case, that water ain't fit to drink anyway. The other day, I left my fiddle in the car. <clears throat> and when I thought of it, we were out somewhere else. I told my little girl, I said, when we get home, you be sure and remind me to bring that fiddle in out of the car. Well, she's uh, seven. Well, she remembers that fiddle. She said, what's it doing in the car? And I said, well, I took it out and had it repaired. And she thought a couple of seconds, and then she says, does it still squeak? <laughs> yeah. You ever hear the story about the, uh, about the two fellows that was in the old-fashioned privy? No. And at the same time, there was a two-hole or a cause. Well, one of them stood up, and when he stood up, he lost a handful of change down through the hole. So he starts peeling off his overalls, took out his wallet, and threw a $5 bill down the hole. And the other fellow, you know, he's wondering what the hell this guy's up to. So yeah. he says, hey, he says, what the hell are you doing? Are you cracking up? The fellow says, no, he says, I ain't cracking up. You don't think I'm crazy enough to go down in there for a few cents worth of change, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Might as well make the trip worthwhile. Worthwhile. Yeah, worthwhile. You know, you mentioned bear. I had an experience with a bear one time, too. I was picking blueberries, and all of a sudden, this old big she-bear rose right up, right up in front of me, and let out a hell of a roar. And I took off running, and I run as hard as I could. And I looked back, and the bear was still there. And I run for miles. Running after you? He was after me. Yeah. She was after me. Well, this went on, as I say, quite a little while. You know, the only way I could get clear of that damn bear after a while there was to run across the ice that had just frozen over just a little bit. And it was just enough to hold my weight. But that bear weighed four or five hundred pounds, and it wouldn't hold her. And she fell through the ice, and I got away. Now, wait a minute. Uh, you said you was blueberrying. Yeah. And and uh, that would have to be in 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 the summertime, and 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 then you come to the ice, and that'd have to be in in the wintertime. Now, uh, th that just don't make no sense. Oh, well, I just. Forgot to mention that damn thing chased me from the middle of the summer till Christmas. God, Kendall. Sometimes, you know, I, I find it awful hard to believe you. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing about you. <laughs> wow, man, there sure were a lot of bears running around in those days. You know, I'm so glad we have the Wayback Machine and get to hear those great stories from Kendall. And you know, uh, 
Those goggles that Doug had were pretty great. If I had those and a unicorn onesie. <laughs> well, uh, next up, twice the musicians for half the first names. Uh, taken from a live performance at the New World Festival in Vermont, Owen Marshall is back playing guitar with junior U.S. national fiddle champion Owen Kennedy. And they're cranking on some classic tunes, uh, The Bay of Fundy, Real to Montreal, and The Reconciliation. Here's up. <laughs> Gents, uh, it turns out that Owen Kennedy is also recording an album this year. If you go to kickstarter.com and search for Owen, O-H space W-H-E-N colon now, uh, there's still time to find that project and support it. Uh, well, we're having one of our most mandolin -y variety shows in a while, which is fantastic. Uh, our next eight string playing friend is Lewis Eads from Evansville, Indiana, and he's got a lonesome song to make you feel better. Here's Lewis. Oh my. 
So much for contributing your music. Well, uh, next up we've got Katie Newell and the Oyster Creek Fiddlers. Uh, a lot of people familiar with Maine Fiddle Camp know about Katie Newell. She's been teaching at Maine Fiddle Camp ever since its inception. And uh, you might also know that uh, about a year and a half ago her house burned down. Luckily she was okay, uh, but this is a picture behind me of her new house in Damariscotta, all rebuilt on the same property. And uh, she's really been enjoying herself uh, all this summer uh, in her new house. And uh, we're very happy for Katie Newell. And she asked me if I could uh, mention something about a, a, a new CD project they're working on. And so what she did was she sent me a bunch of video and photos of her Oyster Creek Fiddlers and using as a background a cut from their uh, upcoming CD uh, Three Jigs a classic main fiddle camp dance tune jigs uh, Kerfunken, Sugar Jig and The Road to Liston Varna a real classic uh, and so here's a, a montage of their music and a celebration of Katie Newell and her work with the Oyster Creek Fiddlers. <laughs> Thank you. 
so glad Katie's been able to rebuild, uh, and I love seeing the fiddlers out in their community. Throwing a few chickens and some turkeys, it's totally awesome. Uh, next, uh, Jeff, Mary, and Allison Philbrook have sat down with their fiddles and at the piano uh, to play some tunes that are perfect for this time of year. I'll let them tell you all about it. Take it away. Hi, we're going to play the Snowstorm by Molly Mason. And the Gale by Susan Conger. Because it's snowing a lot. Did I just see a guy in shorts dancing with a chicken? Thanks, Bill Brooks. And that final question you left us all with, I, I wake up and ask myself the same thing every day. Yeah. Well, we're getting closer and closer to the end of the show and the lullaby, uh, but we have time for a story from Jennifer Armstrong about a headstrong little cookie. Here's Jennifer. It's a run, run, run as fast as you can. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, yeah. 
You know the story. That woman, she baked a gingerbread cookie for breakfast, totally going off her keto diet. And there she was, running after this gingerbread man down the road and all the animals following, right? A cat, meow. a dog, Woof. a pig, a cow. Meow. And they were all running and couldn't catch him. And it was making him really, really, really proud. So proud, he started to do tricks as he ran. So full of himself. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, yeah. There's a cat after me, a dog after me, a pig after me, a cow after me, a woman after me, but they can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. On his knees. Then he did. showed up? Mm -hmm. The fox. And the fox, in his wily foxy way, told the gingerbread man to get on his tail. But when he did, the fox dipped his tail down into the water and whoa! So then the gingerbread man ended up on the fox's back, on the fox's head, on the fox's nose. And just about then, the fox gave a jerk and a, ah, opened his mouth to swallow the gingerbread man down. But a great wind sprang up out of nowhere and swept the gingerbread man back across the river right into that woman's hand who'd been chasing him because he was her breakfast. And off they went back home. And that woman said, whew, I haven't felt this good in years. You are my new running partner. Now let's have green smoothies for breakfast. And so they did. And every morning thereafter, they went running together. And she's doing great. And if you see them, and the cat and the dog and the pig and the cow, well, you're welcome to join in, and for the green smoothie, too, if you want. And that's the story of the gingerbread man. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. I'm the gingerbread man. All right. Thanks, Jennifer. Man, I love cookies and I love great stories. What a great way to wrap up our show with that theme of storytelling. Uh, well, it's been a great show. Thanks to everyone who sent in a submission. We've got another four variety shows coming up over the next few months. The next one is March 12th. Uh, so look forward to that and send something in. We'd love to share your story. Uh, it'd be great to bring back our fearless leader. Hey, Doug, are you there? Here I am. All oh, right. There you are. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful show. Uh, I, yeah. I enjoyed every minute of it. Thank you, everybody, for it. And uh, and also, I'd like to mention that we're going to be opening up uh, real Maine Fiddle Camp for the summer of 2022. Uh, registration will be opening next week. So look for that. It'll come out in, an, in our next newsletter. Be sure to uh, be on our mailing list. But now we're going to end the show like we do just at Maine, real Maine Fiddle Camp with a lullaby, and so here's Katie Newell. Bye, everybody. When midnight comes, good people homeward tread. 
Seek out your blankets and your feather bed. Home is the rover. His journey's over. Yield up the night time to all dawn of dreams. Yield up the night time to all dawn of dreams. Across the hills the sun has gone astray. Tomorrow's cares are many dreams away. The stars are flying, your candles dying. Yield up the darkness to all dawn of dreams. Yield up the darkness to old John of dreams. Both man and master in the night are one. All things are equal when the day is done. The prince and the plowman, the slave and the free man, all find their comfort in all John of dreams. All find their comfort in all John of dreams. And as you sleep, your dreams come winging clear. The hawks of morning cannot harm you here. Sleep is a river, rolls on forever, and for your boatman choose all John of dreams, and for your boatman choose all John of dreams. When midnight comes, good people homeward tread. Seek out your blankets and your feather bed. Home is the rover, his journey's over. Yield up the night time to all dawn of dreams. Yield up the night time to all dawn of dreams. Everyone come.